Hey everyone, um, quick video today. I had um, several requests for envelopes to go with the Christmas cards. So I went ahead and created an envelope set. There's 10 different envelopes in it and they all come with like a, a fun little seal to kind of seal it shut. I'll show you how that all works. But today I just wanted to show you how it works and um, just give you a few extra little tips. And I wanted you to see, I printed this one on paper and I printed this one on cardstock. And I just wanted to try out the differences and kind of give you a rundown. And keep in mind shipping cardstock envelopes would, probably the shipping would go up. But if you're just going to drop it off to your friend, it might be kind of fun to have the extra bulk and just you could decorate it, you could add lace to the envelope or whatever. So um, on the back, these just come in eight and a half by 11 papers and I printed them and cut them and inked them. And on the back in the paper collection, there's one called backing. I'll put a link below because it might not be the paper. I'll double check, but I'll put a link. Um, but there's a paper included called backing and I just created it to kind of, so that when you fold up your envelope, you've got a nice pretty thing instead of white, white paper. Um, anyway, so I printed it both sides, just the envelope on one side and that backing on the other side so that you have a pretty inside of your envelope. All right, so all you do is cut, it's super obvious, cut around the lines. I used my bone folder to go ahead and get that nice crisp fold on these. And then the pointy edges on these go underneath. And I'll show you why. When I glue it down, you'll see. Cause if you put them on top, that kind of looks a little bit goofy. So you'll see that this is what's meant to be on top. So it looks pretty. So I'm just gonna glue right along this edge, just with my Fabri-Tac. I want this to stick and I also made these envelopes a hair bigger than the cards, just because if you're like me, then the cards might have some bulk to them. And I wanted to leave a little extra room in there for the extra bulk. So I didn't make it super tight. All right, I'm gonna just make sure that that dries, but I'm gonna not stick it down because in case the glue comes out, I don't want it to glue my envelope shut yet not yet all right so i'm gonna let that one dry here's the cardstock one let's go ahead and do the same thing just a little here and a little here and then just glue that shut and that will take just a minute to dry okay so it's that easy and then you have, if you wanted to write the address and the name and all that, and then the return address, I made spaces on that for all of them. So you have room to do that. And then you've just got to pick which card you want to go in your envelope. So I'm going to kind of lay these out. Ooh, that one looks really good with this one, but I like a little red in there. This is cute too. Oh, they're all cute. Darn it. I think I like that one with this one. And this one, I think I'm gonna keep it with this red because I like the contrast with the cream and the red. So I'm gonna go ahead and use those. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this off now that I'm ready to put it in an envelope. Oh, I can I wonder if there's room. Yeah, I've left enough room that you could leave a little extra on like that and I like it, so I'm gonna leave it. All right, so this one is now ready to go in this cute little envelope. And then that will come down here. And then when um, you seal it, each of the envelopes comes with a different little design. And you can put that on here. Can you guys tell that my circle cutter is getting worn out? That's one thing, like, that doesn't it make you so happy when you, like, go to punch something and it just goes perfect. And that perfect little snap sound, I love that. But mine doesn't have that, so I need to sharpen it. All right, anyway, so then you have a cute little seal to seal it shut. So I love it. Okay, turned out super cute. And then this one can go right in here. 
Anyway, I just think, wouldn't that be such a fun card to get in the mail? I think you would feel very special if you got that in the mail. It would just make you so happy. Anyway, so there are the two cardstock and paper. They both work fine. This paper is going to hold up just fine with that um, card in there to give it a little bulk. I think it'll be just fine. And probably if I were to do a bunch, I think I would do it on paper. Um, just looking at them finished now. But anyway, both awesome options and a really fun kit. So there you go for those that requested it. A little video and now you have the basic instructions and super easy, right? And I'm all about easy. So I hope you all have an amazing day and get lots of fun stuff done. I'll talk to you later. Bye.